Hi, I'm Dave from Ten Commandments Models. Welcome to a video guide to painting our stonecast brick industrial buildings range. There are many different painting techniques and, just as with the choice of paint and brushes, often these are simply a matter of personal preference. What we are going to show you is our recommended, simple and effective technique for painting our stonecast brick buildings and creating realistic looking back scenes for your layout. We are going to be brush painting using enamel paints, but you could do this with acrylics. In fact, plaster castings are receptive to most forms of colourant and our customers report tremendous results using everything from watercolours to wood dyes to boot polish. We are using some of our double O castings for the purpose of this demonstration, but the same principles apply if you are painting a rain gauge range. If you do have more than one casting to paint, it makes sense to carry out each stage of painting and all the castings at the same time. Not only does this make the job quicker and easier, but it also ensures consistency of paint colour and finish across your paint castings. We're going to start by painting all the windows gloss black. From normal viewing distances, this will provide a good representation of light reflecting in glass. I'm using one of our flat square brushes for this as I find this is great for getting into all the corners and the edges. Paint all the windows over the frames and the surrounds. And don't worry if you overspill a little because we can pick that up with the next coat of paint. So carry on, paint all your windows as required. Once the windows are dry, and you will find plaster dries fairly quickly, proceed to paint the brickwork. Once again we're using enamels, although this time we thinned the paint slightly because we're going to be putting on more as a wash. You can always test the colour the rear of your casting to make sure you're happy. Paint all your brickwork, including up the sides of the surrounds and the window sills and lintels. Don't worry if your paint's slightly thicker here and slightly thinner there. In real life, all bricks aren't the same colour and this will just contribute to the overall effect of the finished casting. Carry on and paint all your brickwork as required, not forgetting the size of turn walls. With the main painting done, the remaining details such as doors, surrounds and the roof can now be finished. For this we're using concrete for the sills and surrounds, but we're also going to grab steel for the door and black or grey for the roof from a paint pot holder. Carry on and paint all your remaining areas and allow to dry. With all painting complete, window frames can now be finished if desired. Although in most older industrial buildings, these would have been wrought iron, so you can always take the easy option and leave them in black. If you do decide to brush paint them, we'd recommend one of our miniature painting brushes with its ergonomically shaped handle which is fantastic for doing fine detail work. However, for an easier option, it's a gel pen, available for most stationers and supermarkets in white, and this provides an easy alternative way to colour your window frames. Painting complete, all that remains to is to add signage as required, combine with the other buildings that you've already painted, and glue in position on your layout before adding finishing details such as pallets, forklift, and industrial clutter from the large range available on our website. Hopefully, everyone's found our painting guide to our stone cast brick range helpful. Full information on all our products can be found on our website, 10commandmentsmodels.co.uk. Follow us on Facebook for all our latest news and updates, and check out our YouTube channel for all our other handy video guides. I'm Dave from 10 Commandments Models. Thanks for watching.